<laughs> hey guys, Marlon here from Games of Warriors channel. Now I have a quick news video for you guys and girls today, and this is regarding the new Splatoon 2 official headset by Hori. This is not a official licensed headset from Nintendo, so we're gonna go over the specifics here on how this headset is going to work because Nintendo Switch needs socialization. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about that. I'm getting a little tongue twisted here, but just bear with me. And in other news I have for you guys is Hyper King Retro N 1HD gaming console. This is basically a NES kind of console that will play all the NES games. So we're gonna go over that. That also comes out tomorrow. So bear with me there. Let's first talk about the Hori official Splatoon 2 headset and how voice chat works. So apparently how it works is that you have to connect this to the switch and then to the phone and that's how everything works. I would just love for Nintendo to come out with a headset that you could just plug directly into your switch and then pull down this microphone part and just talk you know in just in a, in a party or in a game or something none of this stuff where you have to connect your phone i don't know why nintendo have to just make everything so complicated so the link will be in the description for you guys to actually read up on this whole thing here but basically how everything works is that you have to connect um the headset to your phone one jack goes to the phone one jack goes to um the nintendo switch and then the uh the uh, headset itself goes into that uh little connector piece there and that's how it works so apparently it's less than 20 inches long which could pose a problem because if you're starting to move around and things like that it might just get undone there if somebody calls your phone or something it might just interrupt I don't know why they would make it like this very complicated but I'll have some images here to show you guys of this and y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think but I don't know Nintendo needs to fix this problem I think it's really annoying that you have to have a phone and an app and you know just for you to have chat capabilities when you have a headphone jack right here on top of the Nintendo switch but we're just gonna have to wait and see for E3 this year how they're gonna talk about you know you social you socializing with your your fans or your your friends or parties whatever we're just gonna have to wait and see this whole thing here is so complicated and i feel like it's gonna pose a problem but anyway they officially came out with it today for splatoon 2 hori they show off their official headset there this is not an official licensed headset from nintendo so maybe nintendo's official licensed headset might be set up a different way let's hope for that sake now in other news uh i want to talk about the hyperkin retro n uh, HD gaming console here. This is the NES for people who missed out on picking up the NES mini Well, here you go. This comes out tomorrow and Apparently this will play all NES titles You know every NES title that you that you have in your um, In your collection you'll be able to play this and it seems like yeah it's cartridge based so you can just slide a cartridge in there I'll show you guys an image of it and it's going to be retailing for $39.99 and it's going to be uh, HD audio and video in 720p uh, high compatibility for uh, NTSC and PAL cartridges um, via both K switch and 16 by 9 and 4 uh, 4 by 3 aspect ratio premium style uh, candidate controller 10 feet which with the NES mini the controller um, length was short which Nintendo tried to fix it with an extender which is just crazy to me uh, six feet micro USB charge uh, cable which is kind of short there but anyways um, link would be in the description if you're interested in picking this up I think this is a great way for people who missed out on the NES mini 39 bucks you definitely cannot beat it it just comes with one controller though um, but I think they should have included another extra controller uh, with it. Let me know in the comments what you think about the the whole um, monstrosity of the Splatoon 2 um, headset by Hurry or whatever. I think it's very complicated that you need a phone to hook it up and then run another cord from 
from the headset to the 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 um, the main board there where you control everything and then it's just oh my god it's a mess thank y'all so much for the support and thank y'all also for four over 14,000 subscribers peace garlic nation i'm out